Welcome back to Master Data Management 1. In the previous video, you learned about the four aspects that make up a model and set up the fields for our contact model. It's now time to learn about the second most important part of the model, which are the match rules. Earlier in class today, we were able to leverage the XML profile from our Atomsphere account in order to import the fields to create our contact model. The next step is going to be configuring the match rules. Match rules by definition are the components of a model that specify the manner in which incoming source entities are matched to a golden records. Simply put, as records flow into MDM, they have to pass a set amount of rules that will determine whether it should create a new golden record from that data or should simply update an existing golden record. These rules will be set by the creator of the model. You can see here that the current rule says match on name and match on email. This means that if both the name and the email fields match the existing golden record, then the existing record will be updated by the new one. But if only either the name or email matches, or neither match an existing golden record, then it would create a brand new golden record with the data contained in the new record. It's important to understand that when creating match rules, you should always start with the rule that you will identify the most updates first, and continue that pattern until you've reached the rule that identifies the least amount of updates. You can find the match rules subtab by clicking on the models tab and finding the field subtab. The match rules subtab is directly to the right of the field subtab. You can also create a new rule by clicking on the green add a match rule button. So let's take a look at how the rules are made. Match rules are set up much like the business rule shape in Atomsphere. Each rule is made up of a number of Boolean conditions. If a record passes all of the set conditions, then it tells the system to update the existing record that matches the new record. If one or more of the conditions fail, then it tells the system to create a new golden record. You can set the top level operator by clicking on one of the options shown here. An AND operator means that a record must pass all conditions identified. In this example, we can see that the record must have the same data in the name and email fields in order to pass these rules. If one of the fields does not match, then it will create a new record. An OR operator means that a record only needs to pass a single condition to pass the match rules. In the same example, if either the name or email fields in an incoming record matches either the name or email fields of an existing golden record, then it will pass and an update will happen to said record. And if you have a NOT operator, that means that it will exclude the conditions noted after the NOT. In this example, if an incoming record matched on both the name and email fields, it would not match and a new golden record would be created. If you'd like to set a new condition, you can simply click on the Add an Expression link to add a new condition. We'll be learning more about adding conditions in the upcoming exercise. We also have the option of adding some more complexity to our match rules by clicking on the Advanced Configuration link after selecting the Add an Expression link. There are three types of advanced expressions we can add. Equals to, equals to with case sensitive, and is similar to. Equals to and equals to case sensitive are relatively self-explanatory. You can set an expression for the condition to equal. The is similar to, on the other hand, allows for a number of different string edit distance algorithms to be applied, such as Jero Wrinkler and Soundex. Using these algorithms give you the ability to define your tolerance inputs that you anticipate for incoming data. For instance, you can set a tolerance for misspellings or even nicknames. We're not going to cover the advanced configurations in this course, but you can always learn more about them on the MDM user guide and within the Boomi community. Now that we have some background knowledge of the match rules, it's time to set ours up. I'm going to demonstrate exercise number six for you, so feel free to follow along in your activity guide. You'll have time after the video to try it on your own as well. So let's go back to our MDM platform where we left off on the field screen. In order to add our first match rule, we'll need to click on the Match Rules subtab. So you can find that subtab by going up to where it says Fields, going to the right, and seeing the Match Rules subtab. 
From here, we are given a brief description of what the match rules are. In order to add our first match rule, simply click on the Add Your First Match Rule button located here in the center of your screen. A new window is going to appear, and this should look very familiar, just like from our slides. The first thing you want to do is verify that your top level operator is set to AND. So you can see that there is a dark gray option and the other ones have light gray. The dark gray signifies that is the type of top level operator that you have currently set. So make sure the AND is set with the dark gray. Next, we're going to have to make sure that we can add our first expression. We can do so by navigating to the left side of the match rule window and click on the link that says add an expression. From here, it opens up a drop down menu noted by the choose word here. If you click on that, a drop down appears and we can then choose any of the fields that are noted within our model. The first one that we're going to use is name. So you can simply click on the name field. And now we can see that it says match on name. If you'd like to edit that, you can hover your mouse over the match on name condition. And you can either click on edit or remove to either edit or remove the option. We're going to set another expression. And so you can click on the add an expression button here to add our second expression. This time we're going to click on the choose drop down and we're going to scroll down so we can find the email file. We're going to click on the drop down option here and scroll down so we can find the email field. We'll then go ahead and click on the email field to add it to our list. So now our match rule here will match on name and match on the email. You may have a question about the add a group option here. A group works the same way as it does in the business rule shape. If you click on add a group, what you can do is set a new operator that this whole group will be identified by. So if we use or for instance, you can click on save. Anything within this group will then use the or top level operator instead of the and. However, what this means is that at least one thing within that list must match since this is, has an and operator above it. You can find more information about the groupings. You can find more about adding a group to a match rule within the MDM user guide.